What would you say to Pakistan? They've got nuclear weapons, they've got a big army, and we're not real happy with them. What, what is our message to Pakistan? Right, Pakistan needs to support Ukraine, stop looking for deals with Russia right now, limit their involvement with China, okay, and then also stop the anti-American policies that are part of the reason that Imran Khan, their prime minister, got voted out of office a couple weeks ago. So it's time to cool it on the anti-American, pro-Russia policies in Pakistan. This is not the time. Pakistan is always a problem. They got caught trying to be neutral on Ukraine and cozy up to Russia so they can get trade and energy deals. But then remember, there's a new prime minister, right? So the question now is Pakistan's got to make some choices. And the head of Pakistan's army came out and said, go Ukraine. Now, Pakistan's a democracy, but the army keeps a really tight control of politics. So let's see, this is not a good time for Pakistan to try to be neutral. But Trey, you know, the big problem there is also China's inroads into Pakistan. Right, Pakistan needs to support Ukraine, stop looking for deals with Russia right now, limit their involvement with China, okay, and then also stop the anti-American policies that are part of the reason that Imran Khan, their prime minister, got voted out of office a couple weeks ago. So it's time to cool it on the anti-American pro-Russia policies in Pakistan. This is not the time.